Hi, Lisa. How are you? I'm great, Dr. Kelts. How are you it's doing? Spectacular. Another beautiful day. It really is. It's what are wonderful. We what are we sharing today? Embryo grading. I know we have a lot of questions coming in about is it important, what does it actually mean? So I was wondering if you could share some of your thoughts on that. Well, embryo grading has lots of importance mm -hmm. and very little at the same time. That's mm -hmm. the interesting and amazing part. What's interesting is that um, our embryologists and uh, our specialists have always looked at embryos in an attempt to identify the best quality, the, really the best embryo that's most likely to implant and become a baby. Great. And embryo grading came out of that. Mm -hmm. It is true that if you pick a better quality embryo, and there's lots of systems of grading, but okay. basically that embryo that has the least amount of fragments, that has the most symmetrical cells, mm -hmm. so you look at day three grading and okay. also at blastocyst grading. And I'm not going to go into the specifics of that, but basically a better grade embryo is more likely to implant. It allows the embryologist to select those embryos in a cohort of embryos that are most likely to implant and become a baby. Wonderful. Now, it's interesting that a poor quality embryo also has the possibility of becoming a baby. Mm -hmm. And we don't always know which one it's going to be. Mm -hmm. And so I always say, wouldn't you believe and think that each one of them is great quality yes. and has the potential to be what you wish it to be? Mm -hmm. And you have to have faith in that. But obviously, we have a system that allows us to minimize the number of embryos but maximize your outcome, and that's where grading came into play that allows us to better select those embryos. Great. Great. Well, thank you very much. I know that many clients have these questions, especially when they're coming and wondering, do we do two, three, or four embryos? So this will help, and I think it will alleviate a lot of the worry if they don't have wonderfully graded embryos there's still potential there. That doesn't mean that they're out of the game. Absolutely. And one other point is that when we look at an embryo in a moment of time, mm -hmm. it's only a moment. And if you look at that embryo an hour, two, three, or the next day, yes. it changes. Mm -hmm. And quite often what we thought was an ugly embryo becomes a beautiful embryo. And and so we just have to be careful about our, our knowledge. Now, it's interesting is that we're now looking at a new incubator system mm -hmm. that takes pictures of that embryo mm -hmm. throughout its culture time, mm -hmm. and it, that may allow us to better select those yeah. better quality embryos that have a better better development yes. and look better and, and, and make all the stages uh, better mm -hmm. uh, because that one moment of looking at an embryo may not be as good either. So that's the interesting mm -hmm. part to all of this, that we're constantly refining what we do and looking for better ways to identify that. And, and so really picking the right embryo mm -hmm. is basically the one that gets you pregnant. Yes. And in hindsight, quite often, it's not so easy, but we're always, again, refining and doing better every day. Uh, well, thank you for sharing this information. I know it alleviate a lot of the worries and concerns that some of our clients have when they're coming into their transfer and not sure which one to pick or feeling disappointed that maybe they weren't the greatest grading. So there is a lot of hope there. Absolutely. And there Absolutely. is a lot of unknown that we're still working with. And Huge. there's a lot of faith in the unknown. It's all, it is having faith that is really important in all this and being positive and persistent helps mm -hmm. because I always say if you get down and depressed, and then what do you want to do? Nothing. Nothing. But everything comes from the doing, and the more you do, the more likely you're going to get. And so if this time your embryos aren't great quality, and if they don't make it this time, you got to do it again, because Absolutely. I know there's a good embryo there somewhere, in some way. Yeah. Keep doing it. Well, thank you very much, and thanks for all of your questions, and continue to share on our Facebook support group. That's been fantastic. We're getting the ribbons out to all three centers, and we have many support events coming up in the next month. Absolutely. And um, we have our support group session, as well as a great webinar with one of our financial coordinators, Tracy, if you have any questions regarding the financial aspects and options with your cycle. So look forward to that next month. God bless and enjoy the day.